Okay, so um, we're going to be looking at a bit of catching today. For me, if I think back about all the time I've been at the club and how the game has changed, I think the biggest difference is the quality of fielding. So, you know, there really is no excuse now for people not working hard on their fielding. And in these times when we can't get out, I think it's arguable that catching is probably the easiest thing to practice. Mum, dad, brother, sister, war, whatever. If you catch 100 balls a day, every day until lockdown finishes, I guarantee you, you will be a better fielder. Okay, so for me, we're not going to get too technical with uh, with catching, but look, the one thing I'd really encourage young people to get into the habit of is, is how we use our hands. So for me, we're really trying to create maximum target area, fingers pointing down, or fingers pointing up. Um, and as the ball hits those hands, we just want those hands gently closing around the ball. Um, I think I've seen some lots of kids, unfortunately, coached maybe in an old-fashioned way about moving the hands a lot to try and give when the ball hits them and that's not great we want our hands as still as possible when we're trying to catch so let's have a look at how that how that looks when we're doing the drill. One of the important things for me about catching is making that judgment about where is the ball coming in relation to your body and where are you comfortable with your hands so the key thing is that fingers are either pointing down or pointing up. The last thing we want is fingers pointing towards the ball. It's about where you're comfortable, it's about catching the ball. So you finding your comforts and making those uh, judgments. So here I'm going to try and push my hands a long way in front of my body so I can see the ball, try and make those judgments. Okay, so there we go, a bit of catching. So just remember, fingers down or fingers up, not fingers forward. Um, the challenge for, for catching for you is, give yourself 60 seconds, five paces away from a wall, how many catches can you take in that 60 seconds? So by trying to go quite fast, you're putting a bit of pressure on yourself, which will test and develop your skill. Love to have some videos coming in. Again, make them creative, make them fun. Prize for the most creative and fun 60 second catching challenge. Thank you.